So one of the great features that we have on these next-gen excavators is what we call cab avoidance, and it's part of the E-Fence suites that we have. And what it does is, because we know where the bucket tip is on this excavator, we can prevent the bucket from getting into the cab. And not all machines are able to do that, but if configured properly, the bucket can get into the cab. And it's an expensive and, and unsafe uh, process to be able to go through and have to do that. So if we can prevent that from getting in there, you're saving time, you're saving labor, you're saving a lot of costs, and first and foremost, the safety of the operator in the cab. Another feature we have on our next-gen excavators is in our e-fence uh, section is e-sealing. And this one is really handy when you're working in a building such as this that we're in, or I'm, I'm building uh, a structure where there's overhead obstructions. We can physically prevent the top of the stick or any part of the linkage from going too high and hitting that obstruction, which obviously is, is a huge safety factor when you think about power lines or you think about people working around you and overhead obstructions and prevent it from falling down. We're able to stop that machine physically from getting to that point. We have this feature on our next-gen excavators called E-Swing, left and right. And if you think about what excavators do and where they work, they're all often in confined spaces. So we can physically stop the machine from swinging too far to the left or swinging too far from the right. And if you think about working with live traffic on the left side of you, and we enable the E-Swing left, no matter what that operator does, no matter how far he or how hard he swings, that, uh, that bucket will not be able to go past that point that he set, keeping it out of the live traffic. 